Excellent. Hey everybody, this is Pierce from the Metasploit development team at Rapid7. And today I was going to talk about and demonstrate our new Swift Keylogger uh, Metal extension for our POSIX interpreter Metal. Uh, so let's dive in. The origin for the, the code of the Keylogger itself comes from GitHub user Screw Everything, uh, who wrote a really nice uh, Keylogger in Swift targeting Mac OS. So why this as a Metal extension? You know, who, who doesn't like a nice Keylogger, right? Come on. Um, this also exercise demonstrates that we can create metal extensions in various languages other than C. Um, one nice thing about using Swift is it's e easier to access Apple APIs and objects um, using Apple's programming language Swift as opposed to using something like C. And because this application is written in Swift, it has a more usual appearance uh, running under Mac OS than, say, an application that was written in C. So what's cool about it? This keylogger actually captures the following data. It'll capture which keystrokes were logged uh, with which application they, that was running, uh, which is pretty cool. So if you're typing in a terminal, it'll be clear that this was terminal input keystroke that, that happened while in the terminal. If you're typing in a browser, that'll capture that that terminal input, hap that keyboard input happened in a browser instance. It also captures applications, which the user has started or stopped. And lastly, it captures keyboard and keypad devices, which were connected to the system or were removed. Uh, this particular extension also uh, links to the C-based uh, metal library itself, uh, allowing us to use our existing TLV code for communication between the extension and the instance of metal that's running on the target. So code reuse, excellent. And this extension is compatible back to Mac OS 10.9, uh, the Mavericks edition. I've run it, I built it and run it there, uh, targeting that edition. Uh, we're in the process of setting up our, our official uh, metal build process to, to do that as well. So all that said, let's demo it. Alrighty, so what we've got here in the top terminal window is my instance of the Metasploit framework. Uh, it's actually running inside of Ubuntu VM uh, as a guest uh, on my MacBook here. And then the lower window is where we're going to run Metal uh, on my target, quote unquote, which is the host OS, in this case, Mac OS. Um, so we'll kick those off. Uh, this command here with MSF console is just to get it set up with the multi-handler and the correct payload, the internal IP address I'm using, et cetera. So I'll get that started down here. I'm going to start Metal up. It's going to attempt to connect and failed doing that. It's got some debug enabled, so it's printing out a lot of extra information just so we can see that it's doing stuff. All right, MSF console is ready to go, so let's, let's run. Okay, we have an interpreter session now. Excellent. Let's see what we can load for extensions. Okay, so that we can see our sniffer module uh, extension that we'd previously uh, written for Metal is present. Great. So let's load the keylogger. Okay, so keylogger is now loaded. We should be able to see that, yep, now there's some commands that we can use with our keylogger. Pretty simple paradigm, similar to the sniffer, where um, it's not on module extension load, it doesn't automatically start capturing stuff. It's going to wait and let, let you tell it. We can verify that with a keylogger status. It should tell us that it is inactive. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, it says it started. Excellent. Let's see the status again. So now it says it's active, and we can see down here that it said it got a message to start. So good deal. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, to show an example of each of those three categories of things that the keylog captures. I have inserted a keyboard over here, the USB keyboard that I have, and I'm going to start up Firefox. So uh, we'll skip that. No thanks, Firefox. And then from my keyboard, I will type, I want to go to archive.org. And in the Wayback Machine, I want to see geocities.com. And so, cool. 
I've typed a few things in. We started an application. I connected a keyboard. Let's see if we captured all that information. I'm going to go ahead and just close this Firefox down. All right. We don't have to stop the keylogger. You can continue to capture um, and still dump the existing data, and it'll save that off. So I'm, at this point, I'm going to expand the window so we can see everything a little better. Uh, so here, we see that we connected the keyboard. I believe this actually sh is showing up twice because uh, this particular keyboard probably uh, enumerates as both a keyboard and a keypad. Um, but in any case, we have evidence that on uh, it's sorted by you know devices and then the time, the date, and then the actual timestamps related to it. And here we said it was connected. So yeah, excellent. We caught that. Um, uh, this particular piece of information says something was typed in a terminal, and what it was was it was you can see that the keystroke capturing um, the keylogger actually uh, spells out when you're pushing keys that are not usual character keys like up arrow, down arrow, backspace, delete. And in this case, I had up arrowed in order to get my uh, start or status command, keylogger start or keylogger status command back, and then I backspaced a couple and then uh, made it stop instead of start or status, right? So that's what that is capturing there. Uh, and we don't see the keylogger start command because uh, we, uh, you know, we had, it wasn't running at that point. Uh, so here we, we see the information the, that we typed in to Firefox uh, and the time that we typed it in to go to archive.org and then within archive.org. So that was in the URL uh, browser bar itself. And then within the web page itself, we type geocities.com to search for an archive at org's website. So it captured both of those things. And then here it gives timestamps of when some of these um, programs um, were executing. So uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, like I said, this is currently uh, in uh, out for review in PRs. Uh, it has gotten some review. Thank you, Tim Wright. I uh, appreciate that. And uh, hopefully we land it soon. Thanks. Excellent.